The NFL draft is a dream come true, and I don't want these guys to take it for granted. Once you get drafted, it's go time. They may not have a clue what to expect during their rookie season, but I'm here to help. Football's not a hobby. At this level, it's a job. I know what it takes to make it in the NFL, and I want to see if they do too. And train the muscle memory that I still got to get rid of it. Getting hammered in the press and on social media. Get used to it. I didn't even know that they were filming. Favorite coach got fired. Deal with it. Move on. You're gonna need that spirit again in the NFL, man. Competition at your position. Just block it out and get it done. That's a great throw, by the way. Thank you. They're never gonna forget this, and I'm not gonna let them. So here we go. This is their wake-up call. So tell me a little bit about this. This was just a halfback toss, actually. And you just saw the void? Yeah, a little bit of a, it was a toss read. You know, oh, okay, rarely you. did we see that. Yeah. The defensive end or the end man on the line of scrimmage in this picture kind of play it that way and shoot wow. up field, so. What I love about this, obviously, is the standing in the pocket and having a guy right there in your face and being able to finish the throw and deliver with not only accuracy, but touch over the zoning defender who knows I can't get that ball. Right in the catchable spot for the receiver gives him a chance to make something happen after the catch. You get six more yards because of an accurate throw. You know, you don't want every throw to be like this. Obviously, you hope your protection is more solid. Right. But you better believe you're going to be making throws like oh, this yeah. on a regular basis in the NFL. And when you show you can do it on film, coaches love to see that, man. And players love to see that, you know? Going through a progression, nobody's open, what do you do? It's a classic spacing concept. They kind of covered it all up. I mean, they're rushing three guys. We're on the, we're on the eight yard line. I mean, the red zone, you'll get that a lot, right? Tight red zone, you'll get drop eight. Dropping eight, so there's not a lot of windows. I just thought, hey, just make a play, just buy some time. Initially, I'm rolling out here, looking to find a receiver. You know, I notice nothing's open and just try to take matters That's in great. my own hands. That's a great run, man. Again, I don't know that I want you doing this every Sunday in the NFL as a coach, if I were coaching you, but that's awesome. Great play. I will say, man, the more tape you watch the NFL, you'll see how many times in the red zone quarterbacks have to make plays off schedule. Yeah. It's a lot. Very few times, especially when teams drop eight, are the plays going to work perfectly. And my coaches were always coaching me to be ready to tuck the ball and run or make a throw off schedule when I leave the pocket, just like you do here. So if you're, you know, say you're in this situation in the game and you break the pocket, you know, when, when in your mind, situationally, is it okay for you to take a hit? I mean, do you, are you... Are you thinking, hey, I got to get as much as I can and go down, or just depending yeah. on the situation in the game, yeah. if it's a close game, or how do you? Certainly, kind of, I mean, if it's fourth and goal, that? fourth right. and goal, you're going to dive. You know, right. so situational awareness is so important. I think that um, you know, in this situation, it's third and eight, and you got to know the two yard line is really what you need. You don't need the goal line. You right. want the six points, but if you can get to the two, sure. you get a whole new set of downs. So if I'm if I'm here, and I think I'm going to get hit at the one or at the goal line, and it's potentially going to put me in jeopardy, and as a result, put the team in jeopardy then the two yard line's where I'm gonna go. But in this situation, you had a clear path to the end zone, you're fine. This is a great, I mean, you don't wanna live by this kind of stuff, but again, the fact that you can- I think I got can, a minus for this one in the film room. Yeah, the next minus day. plus, who cares? <laughs> I see a completion, but again, you don't want every play to look like this. If you do that, you'll throw a lot of interceptions in the right. league and be booed out the field. But every now and then, you gotta be ready to make a play. You see Carson Wentz do stuff like this all the time. You know, Ben Roethlisberger, and those guys win NFL MVP and Super Bowl MVP for a reason. Got a little That's RPO a here, player. so. Yeah, which I'm not as familiar with. You know, we, yeah. the NFL is starting to do that more and more. So Absolutely. I think that's the kind of concept where the spread offense is actually influencing sure. the NFL. Sure. Well, you saw the, the Eagles. I mean, the Super Bowl champs, they ran, they ran a lot of RPOs all season. And, right. You know, there's definitely, there's definitely value in that. And you just You'll have some familiarity with it, right? Stretch the field, yeah. And you Did you do it your whole career defenders. or just your senior year? I would say my senior year more so than the okay. other two years, but we still had a few, maybe two or three, but this year we okay. obviously had more. It this, takes this a lot of pressure kind of, off the quarterback, right? Because you put the defense in a bind. and Sure. It kind of makes you a little more black and white, too, with the read. I was going to say, are the reads pretty straightforward? Absolutely. And, yeah. and most of the time, obviously, you know, RPO, run pass option. So, you know, you're just putting your off, you're putting your team in the best position. Yeah. You know, if they're too high yeah. and you just hand it off. I mean, right. that, that's the best Yeah, you're running option. plays versus optimum looks. Sure. As we so say. this one, it's a weird look, but the, the, safe, the field safety comes down, and that's who we're reading. So pre-snap, it looks like, no way I'm going to throw this. Hmm. And then I see the guy scream down at the, I at the snap, you. and Sending that's kind throw, of what right? reading. That's their way of getting another guy in the box. Sure. Oh, snap, to stop their run. Absolutely. So you're not going to run it. I love it. Quarters coverage, you know. And I could see you doing more of that in the NFL. <laughs> you know, even though you think, oh, it's not as much spread in the NFL, mm -hmm. I think, as you said with the Eagles, I think teams are going to do more and more yeah. of it as you go. 